Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Happy to be here for another project today. If you're new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and hit that icon bell so you don't miss any upcoming videos. Unfortunately, just prior to this video, I was live streaming and my computer went haywire on me. So I started doing this double mirror wall decor, wall decor. And I was, I was explaining that um, it was very popular on my Pinterest. I have thousands of pinned and repins. And this was a very, very popular item on my uh, Pinterest. I got thousands of, of uh, likes on this. So I started to do live streaming, like I said, and my video went berserky on me. So I'm going to explain the best I can to restart this, pro this project, which I had already started. So this project is a double mirror wall decor and is going to, I'm going to tell you what I did. So my, unfortunately, I, I already glued the two mirrors. So in this project, you need two mirrors. You have a six inch mirror and an eight inch mirror. And I cut out the foam boards. So what I did is I glued the foam board on the six inch right here. And then I took a canvas or you could use the foam board also and I glued it to the mirror and then I put a hook so it's already ready to hook up when it's done. So in this decor there's 32 skews. So what I did is I took a template, I took a template, 32, and I put it under the first mirror of the foam board and I drew the 32 lines and then I glued the skews. So like I said there's 32 skews. So I have a big, large skews, and I have smaller skews. Now the big ones, they measure at nine inches, and the smaller skews, they measure at seven inches. So I wanted to mention that. So then you glue the first one to the foam board, you glue the second one to another foam board or a canvas, whichever you prefer, or your cardboard, whichever you prefer. And then I put a hook. So and then you take your first mirror and you glue to your second mirror. So you want to make sure there's about an inch, see that? I already started it, mind you, because I wanted to do live streaming. And then, um, see that? There's only about an inch sticking out. So that's exactly what you want to do. That's the whole purpose of the, this project. That's what it's supposed to look like. So there's one inch um, of the second mirror that you're going to see about. But, and then I, um, I put the beads, the red beads all around. So it's very difficult because of the bamboo skews. So what you have to do is you have to put the, the, the hot glue on your foam board. So it's very difficult. You'll see some that drips, but don't worry about that because you're going to put another row of the beads. So it's all, it's all covered. So basically this is what I did. So I glued the six inch with the foam board on the second mirror. And basically this is what it's starting to look like now. So with this design on my Pinterest, it was, it was uh, painted gray. I decided to do white today. So this is why I don't have to paint the foam board around there because it's white. And that's the, um, the design I'm doing today. So I painted them white, 32 skews, double mirror, now I'm going to put another set of beads. I just wanted to let you know what I what I did on my live previous, but I just didn't want to stop it. I just wanted to continue it because it's a very pretty project. And unfortunately, on my, on my live stream one, I showed you how to do the petals. Now there's 16 petals. Now I have to tell you, there's a teardrop shape that I use on the internet. And what I did is I cut it out the same shape as this, same, same, same shape as this. So I took the, uh, cut it out on the plastic here, the plaid, the platters. This is, I use this, I would say 90% on my decors. It's fabulous. You can use this on so many decors. So I did that. And then I took a red uh, metallic poster board. You could get that anywhere. You could get that in, um, uh, Stairs. I mean, mind you, I'm in Canada, mind you, but um, you could get, I used to get the, these poster boards at the Dollar Tree, but they don't have them anymore, which is unfortunate. 
And they took away my mirrors also. So I have to order them online now. So we have to do what, what is given to us. <laughs> so I took the teardrop. So I took the poster board and the plastic platter and I just glued it together. And how I do that, I do it with the super glue, Dollar Tree. The reason why I don't use the hot glue is because it makes forms. Like you'll see lumps and it's not very, very pretty. With the hot, with the um, super glue, it works perfect. And there's no lines, there's no bumps, there's no nothing. And it glues very, very well. So this is how I do my kettles. I just wanted to tell you that. So this is what I'm going to be using today. And there's just going to be a couple of slightly things different. Um, usually on my petal, I would have a small little bead here and then a bigger bead here. But I'm not going to do that today. I'm just going to put this beautiful uh, blingy, very, very blingy. I'm going to put that on my petal like this once it's done. So I'm not going to put two. I'm going to put one. But it's going to be, be a very pretty design. And then I have my little marquees. I have red and transparent little marquees. And then I have just the little round red ones and transparent. So it's basically, it's two sets of beads. And then I'm just adding these ones, the little blingy ones. And I got, I ordered those online. And then I'm going to put another set of red beads here to give it that extra, um, well, to give it that look that I have on, uh, on my Pinterest account. So... Uh, what else am I missing? Oh, yes. And for this project, it is very, very light. So you don't have to worry about... Um, this project is very, very light. It might weigh maybe a, a pound and a half, two pounds tops. It doesn't weigh. It's just the mirrors that's, that's heavy. So with this, I use the hot glue. Gorilla glue for my hot... for my uh, glue gun. So what else am I missing? So I'm going to put another set of beads and I'm going to show that to you. And I'm going to put it all, like I said, just around. I was actually maybe thinking on putting three, but you know what? I think I'm just going to do two on this one. Yeah, I think I'm just going to do two. So what you have to do is you have to be really, 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 really careful because you have to put it on the beads this time. The first time you have to put it on the foam board, but this time you have to put it on the beads. It's uh, sad to say, but that's about the only way that it's going to glue. Some of it might fall, but you try not to. It's very tricky because you don't want it to fall. It's very, very tricky, this thing because it wants to fall into the cracks. <laughs> so mind you, I use this little board here, which was created for me. It's wonderful. And there's a hole in the middle. And then I put the um, Dollar Tree mirrors with the frames. I put two of them to give me that leverage. So it's really, really nice and easy to decorate my decor. I love it. That's, uh, that was done for me. Love it. I'm going to go the best I can without spilling my glue. I know it's awkward, but I might have to do another third set of beads. It's very hard to do this. You have to take your time. So I don't think I'm going to be editing this video. The reason is because I was supposed to go live. So I think I'm just going to continue and just show it to you right from, try to do the beginning and just show it to you of how it looks like. I don't even think I'm going to be editing this video. I don't think so. It's going to be a long process, but if it's too long for you guys, just fast forward. Because with this um, coronavirus, you know, it's, um, 
you don't want a lot of people uh, coming into your home and infecting you and stuff like that. You have to be so careful, eh? It's very scary. I'm sure a lot of people are are wondering if we're going to get through this fast or slow. I guess we just have to stay positive and work at it together. Stay home and stay safe. All right. So here it is, the second batch. I'm going to cut this. And let me see if this is going to work. Now what I could do is I could do another third layer, but I'll see at the end. I'll see at the end. I'll work it. Voila. Not perfect, but for now. See that and mind you we have to clean the glue after because there was little brands I tell you it's full of glue everywhere right eh? so basically this is what it looks like see that so this is the second row see that it might looking okay so now now that that's done if I were to put another row, I would put it right smack in the middle. And I don't even think I'm going to do that. It's not even worth it. I'm not sure. I think the other one, I had three rows. But for this one, we're just going to leave it as is. I think it's pretty like that. So, without further ado, we're going to put our petals. Now, see, basically, this is what they look like. And in the back, you might, they're not exactly perfect, perfect, but... Basically, this is what it looks in the back. Because, of course, the platter is black in the back. See that? So, this one, I'm doing 16 of them. So, what you have to do is... And what I usually do for this, not to make any marks or bumps, I put the glue on the skews. I don't put the glue on the pedal. So, that's just for me because it just doesn't make any marks on my pedals which is wonderful. So what I usually do, and you have to really be careful with that, the end of the skew, you want to put it just maybe about, oh, not even half an inch, not even half an inch at the end of your uh, big petal here. So you want to end right here. So basically you just have to try it right here. So you know your, your uh, petal is going to end here. So I start here with the glue, see that? And I just put it all the way here. And I wait a second, and then I put my petal. And then I press it down. And you make sure that it's even, that it's leveled, because if not, it's going to look crazy. So, oh, and then I'm going to do this one.
Very pretty. And you know what? When you, I, I've done this for so many times that it goes really, really fast after a while. It goes really, really fast. Mind you, you can make your own petals. If you have better material, you can use it. This is the material that I have. That's the one that I know. I don't know any other material that would work as good as this. I haven't found it yet, but I'm always on the lookout for uh, new in new ideas, new inventions, new uh, material. Because I do a lot of decors, and I sell a lot of decors. I want to set up my, um, I want to set up my uh, Shopify and my Etsy store when I have a moment, when I have a chance. I'm going to have to hire somebody to do that for me. And you have to make sure your petals, that they point to your skew. <laughs> because if not, it's going to not be very pretty. So we're almost halfway there already. It goes really, really, really fast, like I said. Once you've done this quite a few times, you get really, really fast at it. I don't want to go too fast for you, but... Um, but like I said, if you have any questions after this video, please um, any comments, if you have any questions, don't hesitate. I'm going to put a description below once I'm done this video, so you'll be able to see everything that I use. And like I said, if it's too long for you, then just uh, skip it. Because like I said, I'm not going to edit this uh, video. So you're going to see everything that I do, step by step. And I apologize that my live stream did not work. That's too bad because I was really looking forward to it. That would have been nice. But I'm not giving up. I'm going to try it again. I'm not entirely sure how I came up with this project, but it was it was one of my uh, very first ones a couple of years ago. And uh, I don't know how I came up with this, but uh, I guess I think it just happened. <laughs> I didn't see it anywhere, this project. It just, I don't know. I don't know how I created this thing, but um, I did. And people really, really taken a liking to it, which I was very, very happy about. I think it's very, very pretty. And I did um, a few different styles. I did one for my mom. It was actually green and gold. It was beautiful. She's got that in her, uh, in her room. I did a gold and black, I did a royal blue and silver, and I did another royal blue and gold, and of course this red one. The only color that I actually didn't do, I think, is uh, black. 
But I did do a clock on my YouTube channel. I did do a clock with petals. So you'll have a pretty good idea how it's done with the clock. I got a lot of likes. There are a lot of interest on that one. I had posted in the group one time, and I think I would have sold. Uh, I would have sold about three hundred of those. <laughs> there we go, and we're almost done. We only got two more left. See, like I said, it doesn't take very, very long. I hope you guys are enjoying this. I know I am. I love doing decors. Absolutely love it. All right. So, I guess I did more than I was supposed to. That's okay. No worries there. Always have, it's always good to have extra just in case something happens. I always do extras. Always, always, always. If something happens, the glue... You rip somewhere or something like that. At least I have a backup, which is wonderful. All right. So here is 16. I'm going to show you exactly what it looks like now. Look at this. Turning out really, really pretty. See that? Very, very pretty. And this is a double mirror wall decor. And I always wanted to do this video for a very long time. And I don't know why I didn't do it, but um, I know a lot of people are going to like this. So basically, this is what it looks like. So now what we're going to do is, now the small, the petal ones is going to be the round little beads. Now the smaller skews is going to be the marquise beads. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you two of them. And I'm just going to continue doing around. But I'm just going to show you right from the start what I decided to do. So this beautiful um, shiny bling. I'm going to show you what I do. I'm going to put it right here. Right at the edge. So you don't see the little tip of the um, of the of the petal. I'm just going to put it right there. See that? And then I'm going to put. Uh, so it's going to be silver red, silver red. So right at the end here, I'm going to put. No, it's actually supposed to be silver red, silver red, silver. Because these beads are red, so you want silk, uh, you want the transparent one. So right at the end here, and what I usually do is I put it right at the edge of the second mirror. I don't know if you guys can see that from there, but right at the mirror here, I'm going to put that transparent bead right there. So I just wanted to let you know that. I will show that to you after. I'm going to put it right at the edge. You could do the measuring, but I'm not going to measure today for this video. So, and then I actually put, I would put just maybe just an inch. Maybe about an inch. Maybe about an inch. Yeah. Then I do the transparent. And then I put a red. So red, black, red, black. I mean, red, transparent, red, transparent. Sorry about that. There we go. So it's transparent, red, transparent, red, transparent. So there's five beads on the petal ones. Now, the small one is going to be the same thing, except it's going to be the marquise one. And I start with the red. I just want to let you know that. I'm starting with the red. I'm going to put the marquees right at the end. 
very cute. Like this. And then I put, so it's going to be red, white, red, white. I want the white to be at the end. So I'm going to put the transparent here, just at the end of the mirror, like I did the other bead. There we go. Red, white, red, white. So I'm going to put actually only four of these. Because the other one has white. And they're going to be just a little bit more separated than the other one, so which is okay. That's what I want to do. And, and the same way. So basically, the separation is going to be the same as this one here, as the same as that one over there. So I'm just going to show you basic what it looks like. And of course, there's excessive glue everywhere. It's crazy. See that? I don't know if you can actually see that from close. See that? Because the beads are very, very small, eh? So that's the whole purpose of this project. They have to be small. That's the original decor. That's how it was made. So you have the red marquees, the transparent, the red, and transparent. So you got the transparent red, transparent red, transparent. So basically, this is what it's going to look like. And I'm going to do this all around. So if you want to fast forward, please feel free. Because like I said, I'm not going to be editing this project. So let's get cracking. <laughs> I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do all the 16 petals with this one first. I think that's what I'm going to do. It'll look a lot prettier. I hope everyone at home is staying safe and healthy. It's terrible what's happening in the world today, but like I said earlier, we have to stay positive, eh? We're going to get out of this one way or the other. We have been before, and I know we could do it again, but... So... Basically, we have to stay, like I said, we have to stay positive and stay healthy, keep our distance, wash our hands a lot. Mind you, I've never washed my hands more in my life than I, I have in the last uh, month or so. What are we, April? Yeah, it's been a couple of months. Wash my hands a lot. I disinfect the house all the time. That's what you have to do, eh? You have to stay safe and you want to live. And I hope you, uh, like my mom, is in a residence, so I go do her chores and her shopping, and you have to do that for your parents. You only have one set of parents, and you have to take care of them like gold. I have my mom left. She's 80 years old. I love her to pieces. There's nothing I wouldn't do for my mom. And I'm sure you guys all feel the same way. I'm still lucky that I have her around. Very, very lucky and unfortunate, and I don't take that for granted, I tell you. I talk to her every day. Mind you, I can't go and see her now, but I can actually bring her stuff, and I can still talk to her through the window, so which is wonderful.
All right, everyone. So this darn glue. I wish that was another creation that you don't have the excessive glue. That would be too wonderful. <laughs> All right, so I just wanted to show you basically what it's starting to look like. It's very, very cute. With these cute little blingy pieces. It's going to be very, very, very pretty. But you're going to see that in the uh, thumbnail in the picture. I'm going to pose that up. And I'm going to take, I think, different pictures, different angles, so you can actually see it from close. It's really nice when you see the pictures from close. So, okay, where was I? So I started here doing the marquees. I'm going to continue doing that all around. And it's going to go really, really, really fast because um, it's just gluing all around. That's all I'm doing. So I'm going to continue doing that. And like I said, if you guys want to fast forward, please, hey, by all means, I know it's long. And you don't want to hear me babbling. <laughs> but I love doing decors. I can keep you entertained anyways. I love doing decors. I do everything and anything. Whatever people ask me to do it, I'll do it. This one's a little off, but that's okay. And then I go to the red marquees. I would say this is one of my favorite decors that I've ever done. I've done lots, hundreds, but this one, up to now, this is one of my top fives, I would say, my decors. I, I accessorize clocks. I could do wreaths. Um, I do basically just about uh, centerpieces. I do wedding uh, decors as well. Uh, cake stands and card boxes and candles and like I said, basically all kinds of centerpieces. I love doing that. I actually have a video on that. So if anybody's interested for a wedding and you want to do it yourself because you don't want to go out, that would be perfect. And I know some of you, I'm sure that they do, you do decors at home. I'm definitely not the only one doing this. I know hundreds and thousands of people at home, they love doing these decors. So I'm not the only one. This is my passion, I love doing this. I love creating new decors. Love it. And 
And I also get a lot of requests, custom, the design you want, the size you want, color you want, style. A lot of glue in this one. I'm sure it's not going to be perfect today, but it's going to be pretty close. <laughs> we'll just see. Now, with this bead, like I said, the beads are not exactly perfect. I would have had to um, measure them, but in this video, I'm not going to do that today. I might fix it, fix the master, but for now, I just want to do this video for you, so at least you guys can see what it actually looks like. It's the beating that takes a long time, eh? That's the thing. You have to have a lot of patience for doing this, in which I have a lot of when it comes to my decors. Lots of patience. I could do decors every day. It wouldn't bother me. New designs every day. I love it. Never get enough of it. Some people they like to knit, crochet. Some they do extraordinary things on the internet today. It's unbelievable. Furniture and the before and afters and crazy. I think actually this is the first video that I do in over two years that I have not edited. So that's pretty awesome. I usually edit all my videos. 
Fast forward, it doesn't take that long. But. but I already said I'm not going to edit this video, so I'm not going to. <laughs> I'm just going to upload it as it is. Mind you, it's going to be a long one. But like I said, you know, people can just fast forward right till the end. So that's fine too. This is why I wanted to do a live stream, but my computer did not cooperate with me this morning. So I don't know what happened there, but. I'm just going to put these beads there right here. It'll go a lot faster. I won't have to bother with those after. There we go. It'll go a lot faster if I do it this way. There we go. It does go faster. But you know where you're going. I'm just going to continue doing this. It'll go a lot faster. Getting there. Slowly but surely. It'll be so cute. I actually made one for my aunt. It was a clock. It was a white fuse with the red petals. But instead of the double mirror, it was a clock. And it turned out really, really, really nice. That's what she wanted for her wall. And it was very beautiful. Unfortunately, she, my aunt passed away last November. Very sad. She was my favorite aunt in the whole world. She was so uplifting, good-spirited, always happy-go-lucky. She was always positive. She was always happy. Um... I've known her all my life, so uh, she was a beautiful person. I loved her dearly, 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 and I miss her. I miss talking to her on the phone. If you were down, she's always, uh, you always lifted your spirits. I love people like that. I love positive people. I'm always a positive person, always have been, always will be. My mom is the same way. I love that. I love positively, positivity in my life. That's all I want. You have to do that today. In today's world, you have to. There's just so many things happening. and You're here one day, gone the next, and you have to stay positive. Take care of your health. So important. There's a lot of skews, eh? There's 32. That's why you have to decorate. I know it's a long process, people. Be patient. We'll get there.
There we is. I should have put maybe a little bit of music. I don't think I have music on my videos. I know a lot of people do, but I find it's distracting. Some it's, I could have put an uplifting beat. Give that extra oomph. So now I'm going to continue. Now I did all of this. I'm going to go back and do the Marquise ones. So things are progressing. It's getting really nice. And if it wasn't for this glue giving me a hard time today. I don't know what's happening with this glue gun today, but um, just drooling in glue. I don't know what's happening there. I think my gun is going. That's okay, I have more. I always have backups. All right, where was I? So, and then do a transparent here. I don't know, I hope um, what's happening in the world, I hope everybody's um, able to pay their bills. I know they're applying for unemployment and stuff like that. There's a lot here in Canada, I could tell you that, in Ontario alone. There's a lot of people that's applying. I'm just glad I don't have to do that. Very fortunate. Because with the government, it's just, I don't know. They're giving all this money, but like, we're going to be stuck paying something back, or I don't know. I just, um, I'm not really convinced. I'm not really sure how that's going to work. But um, I'm trying to make it on my own instead. For now. Mind you, I retired last year from the government. And um, so it's been a year. Uh, it'll be, I had taken five weeks off and then I retired in May of 2019. And uh, I can't believe actually a whole year went by. It's the fastest year I've ever seen. <laughs> I gotta say. <laughs> The fastest year ever since I retired. It's like, oh my God, I've never seen a year go by so fast in all my life. That was really fast. <laughs> Not to get a penalty, mind you, I would have to stay till uh, a few more years, but you know what? I just couldn't do it anymore, so I left. I retired early. And I tell you, I do not regret my decision. <laughs> I don't regret it at all. I'm loving being at home and doing my own thing. If it wasn't for the glue, I think it would go like 10 times faster. This is what I'm thinking. You have to be careful with the red marquees on the big skews 
because what happens is this cue is so big and the marquise is so small <laughs> and you don't want to see the stick at the end. That's definitely, you don't want to do that. So you have to cover it. Do that. You have to make sure you cover it. So I just basically want to show you, I lost a bead somewhere, but I just want to show you what it's starting to look like. Whoop. I hope you guys can see this. Because the excessive glue, because there's so much of it. See that, how pretty it is? Starting to take really, really nice shape. Very pretty. But see now, I had done this decor like before, but if I were to do um, a new style with this kind of decor, I would use bigger beads. This one, um, mind you, the people, they really, really love it because I had nice comments on this. And, um, but for me now, the bees would be too small. You see, I know a lot of people, they like this kind of decor, but, um, for me, the bees would be too small. So when my, if I would do another type like this, I would use bigger beads, like, uh, maybe one in the middle, I would put the double. So basically sort of like a button, just, just like bigger than the, the blingy ones here, the very silver, shiny ones, I would put it just a tad bigger. That's what I would do. If I were to do another decor very similar to this one, that's what I would do. So we're getting very, very close. Starting to take shape. Starting to take nice shape. I love it. I'm just going to do these first. Get rid of those. And I'm going to do the marquees on. It'll go a lot faster. I didn't really pick the best one to do a uh, non-editing one because <laughs> there's a lot of beats to do. I didn't pick exactly the best one, eh? But I know a lot of people, I usually fast forward um, my videos so nobody gets to see what exactly what I do. Like I show them, but not the whole thing. But this time you actually see almost the whole thing. I wish I would have stayed live, but it didn't work out for me this time. But hopefully next time. <clears throat> it can shape. Very pretty. I'm going to do my little marquees. I would say we're more than halfway there. Oh yeah, we're more than halfway there for sure. I would say we're almost three quarters.
I don't know if anybody can hear the music because I have music on the other room. It's actually uh, country, classic country. I like the old classic country music. I know I'm old fashioned, but I like it. We have it on the Galaxy channels. Either that on my internet, I use, um, there's a station that everybody would absolutely love. You have all of the music in the world, all of the music, from pop to jazz to name it, to country, to anything you want to listen to. It's on uh, AccuRadio, A-C-C-U-Radio.com. And what happens is you can play all the music that you want, and when you're listening to a song, you can actually skip it if you don't like it. And then you can go back to another channel, go back to another channel. You could do that like all day long. It's wonderful. And it's free. <laughs> it's absolutely free. I stumbled on that channel before, and I tell you, oh, I love it in the summertime. Put that with my Bluetooth outside, sit outside, enjoy the birds and the sun. Love it. And my rocking chair. <laughs> Mind you, I'm a big rocker, believe it or not. I'm a big rocker on my rocking chair outside. Absolutely love it. It's like my backyard is like an oasis for, for me and my, uh, my, significant, my significant other. We so enjoy our backyard barbecues and... There we go. So I did all my red marquees. Woohoo! We are getting there. So now I'm going to continue. We're going to start here. I don't want to go wishy washy. So we're going to continue doing that. This is going to be easy peasy because it's just one each. So one of those and one of those. Like this, and continue to do that. I forgot to do my little beads here. Do the red. That makes a lot of beads, doesn't it? I got a feeling I'm going to run out of beads. I don't think I have enough. I don't know what I'm going to do. We'll do the best we can. I sure I was sure that I counted all of the same beads, but maybe I was wrong. And I'll have to go and get some more. Oh, this darn gun today. I don't know what's happening. My computer's not working. My gun's going crazy. 
Samantha, I don't think it was meant for me to do this video today. <laughs> but I gotta stay positive. So we're gonna do it one way or the other, crazy glue or not. Crazy, eh? I don't know what's happening, but it's a beautiful day, I have to tell you. Outside is absolutely beautiful, sunshine. I'm going out for a walk later. Absolutely beautiful, it's supposed to be 12 degrees today, so for us it's wonderful. Almost the middle of April already, believe it or not. Easter weekend's coming up. And it's my significant other's birthday. And we can't celebrate, we're gonna have a big party. And it would have been nice to invite a lot of people, but we can't even do that. So we have to make the best of it, eh? So I'm going to make a nice supper on Sunday. And make the best of it. Or we can order out too. That's fine too. We can do that. Whichever he wants. It's going to be his treat. Well, it's going to be my treat, but it's going to be um, a treat for him. That's what I meant to say. <laughs> That's what I meant to say. God, that crazy glue all on my fingers. Crazy. So we're getting there slowly but surely. We're almost at the end. I can't wait to see the final product because, like I said, I haven't seen one of those in well, the, this red one. I haven't seen it in a couple of years. So, I made all of the other ones and they were all sold, which was wonderful. I mind, mind you, I did a lot of these ones. I do big ones and I do small ones and all kinds. I tried to have a nice variety. I tried to do different colors as much as possible because I know people, they like the different colors. So it depends on what goes good on your wall. All that good stuff. So we're almost done everybody. I just got a few more beads left, which is wonderful. We are almost there. Isn't that fantastic? Thank you. 
My last couple of beads. Yay. I think I covered everything. I think, I think. Let me just see. Three, two, two. I think I covered everything. Two, four, that, two. I'm going to have to clean all that glue off for sure. So like I said, it's not all even, but it's at least it's all done. I'm just going to clean my mirror a little bit. Just to show you. Lots of glue. Oh my God. Glue. Thank you for your patience, everyone. We made it through. We made it through. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean the glue a little bit so I don't have to show you this ugly glue all over. Because I'm telling you there's lots. I'm gonna take the worst off and then after that I'm gonna show it to you because it's very pretty. And it took about an hour, I would say. It took about an hour to do this. Just a little over an hour, that's not too bad. Considering all the little beads that we have to uh, glue. So when you do your project at home, you know by two hours you're gonna have, you, uh, you would have done this. Two hours you can do this beautiful project. Some decors, I have some decors that I have the diamond shaped ones, and that takes a little longer because there's 24 petals, 24 diamond shape, like here and here and here and here and here and here. And what happens is with the diamond shape, I do the rhinestone all around it. So that's very, very time consuming. I have a I have a request for one of those and uh, I'm just waiting for my beads to come in and I had a special request for a light pink one so I'm going to be doing one of those and uh, I'm going to post it up on my Facebook once it's done I am going to post it up and show everyone and uh, and on my Instagram of course I always do and uh, and then I had another request. I had a very, very large stand-up mirror that you put behind your door. I have to decorate it. So I haven't figured out how I'm going to decorate it yet, but it's going to have to bling and it's going to be very pretty. So everyone, here it is. Here it is. Look at that. Very pretty, eh? Now this is why, uh, this is my double mirror decor. See that? My double mirror decor. Very, very, very pretty. I love it. And it's nice with the poster board because it's very, very shiny. Now there's a couple of ways that you can actually do, if some people they like lots of bling, like, I love bling. I could do every decor bling. It wouldn't matter to me. So if you would like, these petals here, they are metallic, red, which you can use the, um, um, what do you call it, the glitter. Now, you could use it, the small glitter, or you could use the large glitter. And you can put the Mod Podge and dip it into the uh, large glitter. That would be absolutely gorgeous, you know? And um, I'm very tempted to do one now that I am actually saying it. I never thought of that one before, but I think I'm going to do one. Um, 
So basically, this is, I'm the one who uh, created this first on YouTube. This was my first one. And um, yeah. So I hope you enjoyed this project. Apologize for the long, uh, for the long uh, video. But please subscribe, like, and share. And don't forget to hit that icon bell so you don't miss any upcoming videos, in which I'm going to do a lot more coming up um, since I'm at home. I'm going to do a lot more. But um, I think the other ones, I'm going to be doing the editing ones. And if I do short ones, I probably won't be editing them either. So we'll just see how it, how it turns out. But I hope you enjoyed this project. And thank you for joining me today. And thank you for your patience. I really appreciate it. And I will see you on my next project. Thanks, everyone. Have a great day. Bye for now.